Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Thermaltake Sword M case. This full tower case comes in two different models. There's the VD500 LBNA, which includes a water cooling kit, and the VD5000 BNA, which doesn't include the water cooling kit. I'll be looking at the VD5000 BNA model today. This case is constructed from very thick aluminum, and this gives the case rigidity, but it also adds a lot of weight. It's interesting to note that while the all aluminum structures are produced through an automated process, they are all fine tuned by hand. For that reason, the Sword M case is a limited edition product. The combination of antique Chinese warrior and modern overall theme works really well and looks fantastic. At the top of the case are stylish, strong handles for maneuvering the case. The top of the case also effortlessly swings up thanks to two hydraulic rods. Just pull and twist these two latches at the back and the hydraulic rods will slowly open the top of the case. Also at the top are two included 120mm fans which exhaust warm air outside the case. At the front there are six five and a quarter inch drive bays and two can be converted to seven inch drive bays so an optional seven inch LCD monitor can be installed. Here's the firewire port, two USB ports, a headphone jack, microphone jack, external serial ATA data connection, external serial ATA power connection, the reset button, power button, power LED and hard drive activity LED. At the bottom is an included 120 millimeter fan which intakes cool air from outside the case and a very handy pull out tool compartment. On the left side of the case are two door panels. The right one allows access to the drive bays. The left one has lots of ventilation and swings open thanks to another hydraulic rod. Please note that up to four optional 120 millimeter fans can be installed on the left door panel for added cooling. On the right side of the case is one door panel for accessing the drive bays. At the back of the case is a door which has lots of ventilation and includes two 120 millimeter exhaust fans. This door opens by pulling and turning the latch at the bottom. At the top is where a standard ATX power supply would get installed. And at the bottom are screw holes for mounting an optional water cooling systems pump and reservoir. There are also slots to allow the computer cables to pass through. This case fits extended ATX, ATX and micro ATX form factor motherboards. There's lots of room to work on the inside and the motherboard tray is removable. However, you need to remove eight screws on the right side of the case in order to take out the motherboard tray. There are three three and a half inch internal drive bays in a single removable hard drive cage. Cooling for the hard drives is provided by the included 120 millimeter fan which is on the hard drive cage. There isn't a toolless design for installing drives in the drive bays, but it is for installing cards in the expansion slots. This case also supports full length video cards in a single or multiple configuration. Also note that two optional 120mm fans can be installed at the bottom. Now keep in mind that this case has five included 120mm fans, but you can install up to 12 120mm fans if required. At the bottom are four casters, which work really well with this case since it's so large and heavy. Finally, have a listen to the stock cooling. If you're in the market for a premium thick aluminum case that's well crafted, has plenty of drive bays, excellent air circulation and looks amazing, I would strongly recommend that you check this product out. There are a couple of things though about the case that I don't like. Those hydraulic cams, while they look really cool, they're impractical. And the case itself is really, really expensive. Overall though, this is a kick-ass product.
Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds. This has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, you can go into the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Also, keep in mind, you can find out a lot more on this product in the forums. And as a final note, if you love watching my video reviews, please remember to help support 3dgameman.com. If you wish to support, please visit support3gm.com. Until next time. Take care. Adds a lot of weights. A lot of weights. A lot of weights. At the top are strong and stylish handles. <laughs> Two included 120 millimeter fans just inside the case, and this is for exhausting all the warm air outside the case. But you can't see. Man, the case is open. Oh my god, it's hard to collapse! Just pull and release two latches at the back. Pull and twist. Not pull and release. Ha ha! Pull and twist. This case has some very unique features. Overall, it's an excellent product, but some people might not. This case has some very unique features. And the big one are the Haum Arumahawa. This case has some very unique features. The hydraulic cams or rods for the top panel, the top cover, you know, the thing that goes.